Howdy everybody, this is Steve, KM9G, and today we're going to take a deeper dive, a deeper dive, a less deep dive. We're going to take some kind of dive into free DV. This is a way to do digital voice modes, voice over HF, digital voice over HF. And does it sound better? Does it not sound better? Either way, it's a lot of fun. We did this on a Ham Nuggets episode live a while ago and had a couple of QSOs in the middle of that session. I just wanted to do a real quick breakdown of how this is installed and some of the things that we learned. So let's get right to it. So I am at freedv.org, the website for the free DV software. And there's a whole bunch of information here, talks about the codec that it uses, talks about some of the updates, talks about what it is. And I'm not gonna read this to you because you guys have eyeballs, you can read. That's how you saw this video to click on it. You're smart people, that's why I love you. All right, what I am gonna do though, is I'm going to download this thing. It tells you what you need is an SSB receiver or transceiver, uh, free DV software, the download links are below. This will run on Windows, on Linux, or on Mac OS. And you need to have everything connected. If you can do WSJTX, you can do this. If you can do FT8, you can do this. It is in the repositories for Ubuntu. This is Ubuntu Linux. However, the version that's in there is old and compiling it from source code is super easy. Okay, here is the GitHub website for FreeDV. There will be a link to this in the description down below as well as any of the command line stuff. So don't feel like you have to take notes. I've already taken notes for you. So the first thing that we're gonna need to do is install a bunch of dependencies that are necessary for this and also clone out the repo. And the instructions are right here. And really that's all I'm gonna do is follow what these instructions say. I've got a terminal open, so I'm going to share some screen space between the two of them. And the first line is let's install all of these things. So sudo apt install all the way down to the end of build essential is what we need to copy there. So lib speaks DSP, that is a library for the speaks codec, uh, sample rate development library, socks, install git because we need git in order to clone out the repo. A lot of the stuff you're going to already have installed. Uh, GTK for doing your on-screen interface, uh, port audio for doing audio, hamlib for doing rig control, libA sound dev, libAO dev, lib gsm1 dev, lib sound file, cmake for making the, the code, module assistant, and build essential. Build essential has a whole bunch of compiling tools in it. That's why it's called build essentials. So all I'm gonna do is copy this line. I'm gonna go over to my terminal and I'm gonna hit paste. And all of this stuff will come out of my repositories that Ubuntu's already approved. So there's not any security issues or anything going on with this. And because I've already got them installed, it ran pretty quickly. It's just gonna tell me that everything is already the newest version and up to date and installed. But I just wanted to do that for some posterity for you. Next step up is to clone out the repository for FreeDV. And I'm gonna be working from my home directory. You can see I'm in Steve colon tilde, Steve is my username. I know that kind of is a shock. And tilde is the home directory for Steve. So if I do PWD, print working directory, it's gonna say slash home slash Steve, cause that's where I am. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste in that git clone line that we copied. Well, I thought we copied that I highlighted and didn't copy. And that's going to go out to GitHub with the Git tool and download all of the code from the GitHub repository. GitHub is a way to control source code and share updates and merge in changes and, and work on teams in order to get software out to the masses. And that's what we're doing is we're getting that software from the masses. So it downloaded it, no, no problems there. And then we're gonna change into the directory and then we're gonna do this build Linux sh and we're gonna tell it to use port audio, just like it says. When I ran the git command, it created the free DB folder. So that's why that now exists when it didn't before. And I'm gonna run that build command that we copied. Okay, so the compile is all done. If you look at my screen, it took about four minutes, 16 seconds. It felt like forever, but I sped it up for you guys so you didn't have to deal with that nonsense. And then my screen just went blank. So right at the five minute mark, the uh, the screensaver kicked in. Excellent. So now it's compiled and ready to go. And that was as easy as that was. Let's take a look and see if there's any extra steps because I don't think there are. I think we just need to run it. Like it says, run with build Linux source free DV. It pops up this little warning that your audio is not configured and wants you to go configure it. So let's go in and do that. Tools, audio config. And this audio config is a little more difficult than it needs to be. Um, there's two different places that you have to go and we're going to do that. So 
Input to computer from radio, I'm gonna pick USB audio codec. Input from, output from computer to speaker headphones. I'm gonna pick this one here. And then I'm gonna try recording. And I can see there's some audio on the waveform. That's gonna be my HF static, my noise floor. And then I'm gonna start playing. And I heard a sound come out of my speakers, so that's good. I'm gonna go into the transmit setting. And even though this looks grayed out here at the bottom, it's, an, it's a tab that you should click on in order to get stuff set up. Input from microphone to computer. And this is where it gets confusing. Input output from computer to radio. So I'm gonna go radio on top, computer on bottom, so that it matches over here. I'm gonna do the same thing, record from microphone. Okay, I can still hear that. I think these might be backwards. Yeah, they're backwards. Okay, and then you should be able to hear your ambient sounds in your shack. I was tapping on the computer where the microphone is, um, and you saw the waveform change over there. And then here, this one should be going out of the computer into the radio. So if we got this set up right, receive is radio on top, computer on bottom, transmit is computer on top, radio on bottom. And we might have to revisit this in a bit. Okay, to save those changes, and then PTT config, I have an ICOM 7300. It is on dev TTY USB. It's gonna be the lower serial port. I think the ICOM only does one serial port anyway. The radio address, this is your ICOM CIV address. You can look this up in your radio. This is the standard address for the 7300. Speed is 19.2, and then let's test PTT. And PTT works. So again, if you can do WSJTX, if you can do FT8, you can do this because you've already got everything set up. My 7300 has a built-in sound card which talks over USB. So I've got a USB cable that is then plugged into my computer that we're sharing the screen on right now. Okay, so we've got the install portion done. The next thing to do is to find a QSO. Uh, on 20 meters, the frequency that people like to hang around for free DV QSOs is 14236. So that's where I'm tuned to on my radio and it's currently silent and I have zero noise floor. So there's not much going on. That's, that's what I'm hearing on 14236. If you look at the screen, there is a couple of things going on on your screen. Over here, it will show your signal to noise ratio and it will automatically try and detect which codec is being used and try to start decoding it. And you'll see this. If it gets way out of whack, you can hit resync. Um, some stats down here for when it's actually doing some transmitting. When you are ready to start using FreeDV as your radio device, you hit start and it's going to start pulling in data from the radio and showing it on the screen in your typical waterfall spectrum analyzer type setup. This is what it looks like when nobody's talking. It'll look completely different and, and recognizable when somebody is talking. Uh, your mode over here, your choices over here, for very noisy signals, you wanna be using your 700 type modes for more strong signals, you wanna use 1600, and if you have the the best, most fantastic signals around, then you can get up to 2020. These are HF signals, great band conditions, is what you would be looking for there. You can hit uh, PTT and you can start talking. This is Kilo Mike 9 Golf, testing the frequency. Is the frequency in use, Kilo Mike 9 Golf? And we know that the frequency is not in use because we've been listening to it for a while and didn't hear anybody. But we did just try to transmit uh, 700E mode free DV over the airwaves. And there it works. You can press the space bar to activate your PTT faster. This is Kilo Mike 9 Golf calling CQ on 14236 using free DV. KM9G on 14236 using free DV. Anybody out there? QRZ. And then I press the space bar again and we're back to listening. Pretty straightforward like that. 
So there's not a whole heck of a lot more to it than just that. I, I can't really demonstrate a QSO, but I will insert a QSO that we had from the live stream right here. Thank you, uh, thank you for the QSO, and I will get back to the stream. Anybody else out there for a contact? November Oh, that's Jeff. Jeff, Jeff, this is Steve, KM9G. Jeff, how are you, my friend? <laughs> Jeff, I missed all of that. Spacebar works as PTT. Hey, Jeff, I missed everything you said. I heard that you were saying it. I recognized your voice, but didn't understand a word of it. Come on back. Bring it again. Jeff, N4POD. Jeff, N4POD from Kilo, Mike 9 Golf, KM9G. To N4 POD. I like it when it rhymes. Come on back. Mike Night Golf. You know Mike Night Golf. This is November 4, Papa Oscar Delta. There he is. Copying you. Copying you now. Sound there. All right, I copied that you were copying me. It's good to hear you. Good to hear you. How loud can I get? I'm at, uh, oh wow, that's point, point oh four on the scale. I can get up there pretty loud. Hopefully that helps. Now you have TX attenuation up all the way. Yeah, that means no attenuation. No, I was figuring that out. It must be backwards. Yeah. There's minus 30 dB of attenuation. Of attenuation. Okay. Kilo Mike 9 Golf KM9G with minus 30 dB of attenuation. Racer X, welcome. Thank you. Sweet. You are my newest member. Okay, November 4th, pop off your Delta with minus 30 dB. Yeah, he sounds fine. Jeff, you sound I'm, fine. I don't know. I don't really hear the difference there. Well, I, you know, what can I say? I don't know if it actually does anything or not. See, he sounds perfectly uh, fine there. That came through great. The was getting to figure out that the radio had to be in the, one of the data modes. So, and 4 POV. Well, that about wraps it up for this video, folks. 3DV is a fantastic mode to play with. It has lots and lots of future potential, lots of current potential, and it's it's fun to play with. That's all I can tell you is that it's fun to play with. Uh, there is a video right over here I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. We'll see you in the next one.